Oh, hello. Welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be on this fun, dark fairy. Well, fun. I don't know if it's, I don't know if I call it, it is fun. But it's like a scary, kind of sexy, dark fairy kind of look. And I wasn't really sure where we were going with this, so you're gonna have to bear with me throughout the tutorial. I kind of like experimented as we went. I want to remind you to please subscribe to my channel if you want to see videos like this one. And if you want to be notified immediately and be one of the first to see any video that I put up, all you have to do is go to my main channel page, click that little gear thing that you see on the screen right there. You'll click the little box there to be notified whenever I upload a new video, and it is simple as that. Also, Snapchat fam sees everything first, so if you want to see everything before it even comes out on my channel and then some, then follow me on Snapchat. I will put it right here. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I put little stickers on my eyes here because we're going to pull those off later, so there's a negative space, but I used spirit gum to put those on the backs because I've tried to do stickers on my face before and it didn't work very well so I used spirit gum and hopefully they're on there pretty good. We'll find out when I start putting foundation on but I also put on my bare skin because the stickers and stuff don't really stick to foundation very well so I started with a clean face and just stuck those right on there and now we're gonna go in and do foundation and I am using Becca Cosmetics. This is the second time I've ever used this um, cosmetics foundation in cashmere. This is the ultimate coverage complexion cream. And I'm using a damp beauty blender for this. Next I'm using It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in Light, and this is a little bit lighter than my foundation. Now I'm gonna set my entire face, including my eye area, with It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Poreless Finish HD Micro Powder. So we're gonna bake now a little bit under the eyes like the tutorial does, I've never done this before. I actually have done it once, kind of, but I didn't apply it with the beauty blender. Now I'm just gonna go right in with Cherry Cola by Makeup Geek and just start applying this all the way from my crease up to my brow bone to make sure I cover the little star that we have there. And I'm gonna avoid the inner area here a little bit because I have another color planned for that area. Oh God, I'm hoping this star stays on here really well. I mean, I know what I'm doing. Now with a damp brush, I'm gonna go in with Americano and place this all over my entire lid. With that same damp brush, I'm gonna take Steampunk and just apply this right in the middle of the eyelid. It's got kind of like a metallic-y um, finish, which is gorgeous. Going back in with Cherry Cola just to make sure that this is all blending together nicely in the crease. Now we're gonna do some weird shit with my eyebrows. Um, I'm gonna do NARS Chantilly. I'm basically going to put this on a palette along with a little bit of NYX glitter in 07. This is just like a white glitter. I'm gonna mix that up a little bit and then I'm going to take a mascara spoolie like this and I'm going to lightly brush this through my brows. I'm basically just trying to make my eyebrows lighter with this. Then from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, I'm taking this color right here. It's Y, what is it? YDK. And I'm going to basically be taking that all the way from the inner corner of my eye all the way up through the front of my eyebrow. I'm just gonna slightly blend this into the other color with little flicks and going to put this over the brow. And I'm going to blend this out with another brush. Then I'm gonna apply a little bit more and kind of keep doing the same exact thing over and over and over again until it looks how I'd like it to. From the same Ruin K palette, I'm gonna take Blackout right here and I'm just gonna darken up the whole look and just go around and darken the little outer edge area of the eye and then this corner part going up into the eyebrow.
Now going back to Cherry Cola, I'm going to darken underneath the eye area. Now I'm gonna go back in with YDK from the Urban Decay palette and just kind of put this in the corner and drag it outwards a bit. Now taking ColourPop's liner in Besto, this is kind of like a, like a, kind of the similar color as the um, Cherry Cola from Makeup Geek. And I'm going to line my waterline with this. And I'm also going to work this into the lash line a little bit as well, just to deepen it up. To intensify the lower lash line even more, I'm gonna take that metallic steampunk shade by um, Makeup Geek and I'm going to dampen my brush and apply this to my lower lash line. Now for a bit of contouring for the face, I'm going, oh wait, let's move the stars away. This is like, I've been waiting for this the whole time. Taking the tweezers, I'm going to pull off each of the stars. Oh, I love it. Now moving away from the eyes a little bit, I'm gonna be using a couple different shades from the Lunatic palette. And I'm going to be using a little bit of this one and this one together, kind of dipping back and forth between the two. I'm applying this right to the hollows of my cheeks and then blending up instead of down with little circles. And when you're contouring, like you always want to Place your pre your brush, your brush. I'm gonna place your brush over here because wherever you place it first is gonna deposit the most amount of color and pigment, and you don't want that over here. Taking those same shades and getting a little bit of it off the brush, I'm going to contour my nose a little bit. I'm gonna cover my lips with a little bit of foundation. I'm just gonna take a little bit of those same shades that we contoured with and apply those right in the center of my lip. Then for the same uh, Urban Decay Naked Palette, I'm gonna take, uh, what is this, Verve right here, and I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighting around my face. So I'm gonna make my lips look a tiny bit bigger because you know I love to do that. I'm taking Ulta's Automatic Lip Liner in Bare and it's just like a really nude color. And I'm just going to overdraw my lips a little bit. And taking a little bit of the cream color from this palette, I'm going to take a brush and I'm just going to define right here. Highlight a little bit and then make sure my contour is standing out. Fire away. You can also use this if you like go a little too low with your contour. If you do that, I would use um, like concealer or something for this part. All right, now before I finish the eyes and I have like a whole mess of mascara on there, I'm going to put in my contacts and I have black contacts from Camo Eyes and um, they provide me with contacts, they're awesome. So if you are interested in getting contacts and they have very fast shipping, you can get the link in my description box below and there's also a discount code there for you. I will be right back. Okay, so we have the contacts in, that was kind of a, um, scary thing. I've only put contacts in a few times, but actually they feel great now. So before I go in and do mascara and all that, I just wanted to deepen up my lash line on the top a little bit. So I'm, this is um, a Walmart brand, well, not a Walmart brand, but you can find it at Walmart. It's Hard Candy Take Me Out Liner um, and it's in soy. It's just black. So I'm basically just going to, and if you have contacts in, just very lightly press. I'm just gonna lightly kind of dust this over my lash line just to deepen it up a bit. Now for mascara, I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which is my favorite. And I'm going to apply this on the top and bottom lashes. So I put on lashes and these are Monda Studio number 79. You can get these from 
Nigel's Beauty Emporium. And that's it for the dark fairy look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I really enjoyed doing it. It's something different. Um, I was doing some wacky stuff around Halloween and it's kind of fun to do it throughout the year. So if you're um, you're in agreement with that and you want to see some more like fun kind of costumey looks like this not just on Halloween then please comment below and let me know and also um, like this video because I can tell by how many likes a video has if you guys really enjoy it or you don't and then we kind of know where to go with other videos if you know what I mean please don't forget to subscribe down below if you enjoyed this video and um, let me know what you think would you wear this out I kind of want to wear it out to a bar or like just to dinner just to see what people's reactions are. I live in San Diego, so they'll probably be like, oh my gosh, do you see her makeup? Where's their eyebrows? I love you guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Ow. Oh. This side of the brush would be good. So I wanna make my lips look a little bigger.